so guys in the previous video we have gone through this two documentation and we have highlighted the important points right and hopefully you remember all of them now it's time to test your knowledge let's face some of the questions directly coming from these two documents okay all the things i have highlighted from there it's coming let's see how many of you can answer it correctly and remember please do comment your answers for each question in the description of the video let's get started all right as you know we are going through this third point explain the difference between attended and unattended process so let's start the very first question a developer is creating an automation that involves user interaction such as submitting an expense report where the user logs in and the automation completes the task which type of automation is most appropriate here are your options unattended attended automation you have a test automation you have a task mining so out of this comment your answer now always remember identify the keyword what is the keyword here that involves user interaction such as submitting an expense that's fine user logs in so this is the keyword user has logged in and then the automation completes the job so what kind of automation it is all right you pretty well know the answer the answer is attended automation great let's move on to next question when creating attended automations what important consideration should be kept in mind regarding the permissions and credentials used so here it is talking about credentials and permissions let's see the answers attended automation can use any credentials stored in the system can it use any credential attended automation should be granted permission to perform task the user cannot let's say as a user i am running a attended automation i want the robot to do something else or elevated our admin can do which i don't have access is it allowed see attended automation must use only the credentials that user knows the credentials which i have and provides right which i provide to the attended automation only that it should use not the not any other credential and the suggestion also that if require you have to design automation in a way so that the user can enter and the bot can can create some delay so any which ways but again you must not provide any other credential apart from your own attended automation do not require user provided credentials okay so now anyways i was anyways revealing the answers so you know which is the right answer so the right answer is this one attended automation must use only the credentials that the user knows and provides okay out of this four option this is the best answer let's go to the next question a developer is automating the approval of expense report based on predefined rules requiring elevated permissions without human supervision so here the keyword is without human supervision which type of automation should they use options are attended unattended you have a test automation you have a apps automation so now here the answer is quite clear please comment your answer if you know it let me reveal the answer the answer is b unattended automation let's face one more question which type of automation is best suited for complex highly repetitive tasks if it is complex and highly repetitive i already told in the while we were learning going through the documentation right that requires elevated permissions and can operate without human intervention the answer is also here should be pretty clear please do comment your answer for this which is your option the option is question number b okay now let's move on the next question which type of robot is controlled through orchestrator and does not depend on users to trigger the process so the triggering should happen from the orchestrator so what kind of a robot it is attended robot unattended robot you have a test robot you have a apps robot which is the right answer please do comment so the answer should be unattended robot option number b so i hope you have you must have got all the answers correct 
no doubt so thank you for watching let's move on to our next topic